Welcome to our next video. We're talking about probabilities. We're talking about dependent events and independent events. An event is a set of possible outcomes. So here we want to talk about the question, is there an event that leads to a different, to another event? Or if, if the, the second event independent from the first one. Following, the following definition holds true. The probability of A given the other event B, if this is equal to the probability of having the first event A, then we talk of the two possible events as independent. So A and B are independent if the probability of A given B equals the probability of the first event A. This is the first or this is the definition that's important for us here to know. There is another one, the multiplication rule that holds true for independent events and in many textbooks you can find this as the definition of independent events and I'd say it's, uh, it's the one you should also always try to, to look at when having to, to understand if the two possible events are independent or if they are dependent, which means the probability of A and B occurring at the same time is equal or not to the probability of A times the probability of B. If this formula holds true, then A and B are independent. So this one is important and equivalent to that, this one also is very important. They are either true, they are either both true or none of them is true. If none of them is true, then A and B are dependent. If they are both true, then A and B are called independent events. So take a look at an example. We throw a fair coin twice. And so we have this set of elementary events. Elementary events are events that cannot be made any smaller. So the, possible, the first possible outcome is that you have, tail, you have two tails, or you have twice head, or you have one tail and one head here. First you throw head and then you throw tail, or you first throw tail and then you throw head. That's the set with four possible outcomes, with four possible elementary events. So two events shall be looked at. The event A, you want to know, you want to calculate the probability of having exactly two tails. And you want to look at the second event of having exactly one tail. Now you start looking at the question, does this event having exactly two tails is dependent or independent from the other event having exactly one tail? Which is true, of course, is that the second trial of throwing the, the fair coin the second time is independent from what occurred in the first time. But those events, are they dependent or are they independent? That's what we try to look at now. And try to, try to say it now. Are those two events dependent or independent? What would you say? What would you say? Okay, let's look at it. The probability. Now let's try to take those to take that, that formula. The probability of A given B, which means the probability of A and B divided by the probability of the given event B. So the event of having two tails and the event of having one tail. Having two tails and having one tail at the same time, what does that mean? That means that we will have two tails, exactly. Having two tails and having one tail means that we look at the, the event only of having two tails. So the probability of having two tails is 1 over 4, isn't it? It is this elementary event. T and T, tail in the first trial, tail again in the second. So it's one out of four possible elementary events. One divided by four. Then the probability of the given event, given one, exactly one tail, is one out of two. Because here it is. Head and tail, tail and head, 
is 2 out of 4. And 2 out of 4 is 1 out of 2. So we have 0 0.5 here and 0 0.25 here, which means 0 0.5. That's it. So this, this conditional probability is 0 0.5. And now, with independent events, the result has to be the probability of A, of the event that occurs first. Now, what's the probability of the event that occurs first? The event was having two tails, and yes, it was the probability of having exactly two tails, which is one out of four. So one out of two and one out of four is not the same. 1.5 is not the same as 1.25, and so it is wrong. It is wrong of saying that those events are independent. Moreover, they are dependent. A and B are dependent, as we can see here in the first formula. And the second formula should give us the same result, and it will. The probability of A and B at the same time, A and B, which means having two tails and having one tail is the probability of having exactly two tails, which is 0 0.25, 1 out of 4. And now we look at the question, is this the same as the probability, as the product of the two probabilities P of A and P of B? P of A is 1 out of 4, whereas the probability of having exactly one tail is 1 out of 2, which means, which gives us 1 of 8, 0 0.125. And 0 0.125 is not the same as 0 0.25. So, as we can see here, in the other formula, the two events, A and B, are not independent, they are dependent. So, both formula tell us the same result that was known already. And so, that's an example of two events not being independent, but they are dependent. Thank you for watching.